grab you, Brayden. Who uh, is holding you? The recording's back up, so it's gra grappled Brayden? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. So he is grappled. The little one will make a will save to attack his mount. A 19. That will save. He thinks he not have great wisdom, but that was lucky. It's going to bite and try to stab it with its tail. No, that's a oh, that's a seven and a twenty-nine. Okay, what's the seven on? Both against your mouth. The seven will miss. The twenty-nine will hit. Josh. Okay. Um. So your mount will take. Eight damage, and please make me a con save. Twenty-one for con save. Okay, you're good. So you take half of that. So you take three poison damage. Your mouth does. Does he really? The other one will also try to grapple Tyler. Oh, goody. <clears throat> uh, 22. Uh, 22 to grapple? Yes. I'll just make an opposed check. Uh, it's possible. Uh, 29 opposed. Oh, okay. Two small a ones. Good roll. Yeah, it is. Two small ones will try to stab him again and mm -hmm. make two bites. <laughs> 12, 3, nat 20, and 27. Okay, the rolls have actually shown up. Hmm? You. Rolled for the attack rolls? Yes. So, nat 20, 27, 12, and 4. AC 20. Okay, so two of them hit. Um, have them make two constitution saves, please. Yep. So, 11 damage. This is okay. And that 20 on the first con save. And a 12 on the second con save. Okay, so he is uh, he is paralyzed for three uh three turns. He can make a con save every turn to overcome it. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> so he's been a lot of time on his back. And how much damage? Oh, right, from the poison. Two damage from the poison, and 11 damage from both of the attacks. Okay. He's embracing right. his inner bar, laying on his back for monsters. <laughs> He's not the one that's pregnant, though. So, Lori. 14 damage all up? Uh, 13. 13, right. 6, six 5, and 2. Yeah, 13. Awesome. Okay, um... Let's see. I am going to Laurie. Uh, Laurie's not liking her master laying on his back, uh, so she's gonna go help him. <coughs> uh, she oh. rushes up as a charge, and she Is is she going to... Swing her lightsaber. That would be... Uh, yep, a 19 versus such AC. That hits. Awesome. Uh, let's see, that would be... Has it taken damage this round? The creatures... 
the one that she's attacking at the moment. No, not that one. That one hasn't been hit yet. Okay, so just 2d8. Uh, 9 damage it takes. Okay. And uh, is that just regular damage? Uh, fire damage. Okay. Lightsaber. Again, that burns it. The, uh... Anything else for Lori? Mm. I'll spend an action point. Rolling again for an attack roll. Uh, 16 versus touch. That hits. Awesome. And it has taken damage this time, which means I get that Ecro D8 damage. Which means 25 damage. Ooh, and... and that's fire damage. Yes, that will continue to roast it alive. Yay! I'm rescuing Master! You do see something from its head kind of like shoot out. Oh god, these things are from Alien. And it lands over there. Close your mouths, people. You don't want to get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> out. Braided. A out of play joke. Out of play joke. I'm not meta gaming. My mount is now very cranky. He's gonna change shape into a salamander. Oh god. And he's going to with att attempt to hit your big guy with his tail. Uh, 25 to hit. That does hit. Beautiful. So he will take... He will take 10 normal damage. He will take three fire damage. And he is now restrained. Until his turn at least. Okay. Which will give me advantage on breaking out of his grapple. I'm going to roll to escape the creature's grapple on me. Twenty-five. Closer. Twenty-one. Okay, so he does maintain his grapple, and he is also restrained. So it's just a big. Cuddle puddle. Pretty much, yes. Anything else for your turn? I'd like to spend an action point and attempt to hit him with my horns by headbutting him. Okay. Are we time? So I can this. That does hit. Beautiful. So that will be 51 points damage. Okay, you stab him right in his chest. <clears throat> As he's kind of holding you closer to him. Yeah. Since yeah. you're still trying to escape. Hmm? I'm going to make the helmet. 52. I've got to ab update my damage. Because I've got a plus one helmet at the moment to make my horns magical. Yes. Okay. Yes. Minus one more. Ooh. That'll be my turn. 
I stabbed that out of frustration. There we go. And Chrissy. Chrissy's going to spend her turn and automatically hit him. Automatically cause him to take another 1d12 damage from the Witch Bolt. Okay. She's concentrating on it. On the uh, small one, right? No, she hit the big one with it. Okay. Because the small one she hit the first time is already dead. So she decided to hit the big one instead. It will take another 3 lightning damage. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. That'd be Chrissy's turn. Brayden, since you are next to it, you can kind of hear, like, the fast movement of, like, fluid, and the lightning damage may... You can see the, uh, the pus, like, bubbles on its back, like, kind of throbbing a little bit more. Yeah. And Tyler. Okay. Tyler making, makes a con save. Making the con save. Making the con save. Without the 3d8. Nope, he's being lazy. That does not pass. Raven. Raven, righties. Uh, Raven's uh, shadow joint has actually recharged by now. It's actually recharged a long time ago. Uh, so she's going to use that to teleport. One, two, three. Uh, mm, yep, giving her flanking position. She'll use her move action before doing so to summon her scythe, uh, which is a mind blade. And she's going to spend an action point to attack. Okay. Uh, just a question. Are these, do these things have a mind of their own? Are they sentinel? It, sentient? It would appear so. Okay. Uh, rolled against it. There's the attack because the uh, mind blade only works against sentient creatures. Uh, so does the Mind Blade affect it? Does that count to Hive Mind creatures? I believe so. As long as it has a mental yeah. side. So, roll, yes. to, roll to confirm the critical. Uh, uh, 20 versus its normal, I see. That hits. Okay. That's really lovely. It counts as a plus one weapon at the moment, which means 2d4 plus 1d6 radiant plus 1d6 critical. And that would be plus modifier. <laughs> plus one, apparently. Okay. So 2d4, uh, that's 7 plus, uh, let's see. That'll be 16 damage, and 6 of that will be radiant. Okay, against the little one, that does kill the little one. Awesome. And that'll be her turn. Okay, for the creatures, the one currently grappling Brayden will maintain its grapple and attempt to swallow. So, Brayden, please make me uh, an opposed grapple. 22. Are you rolling on the GM side, aren't you? I have another tab open, because that's where I have the stat blocks for them. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, okay, I have them in a different game. Yep, 29. Okay. Then you are not swallowed. I'm going to start doing that. Cool. And then the other one will pick up Tyler. Yep. Oh, <laughs> lovely. <laughs> this is not good. Eat. 
Tyler's gonna kill me. <laughs> Tyler's gonna kill me. <laughs> oh shit, yeah. I forgot. He can't oh, kill you, he's paralyzed. <laughs> Not the character, you're the big, person! you big creature that's currently pinned by my Telenator's tail is t will take 4 fire damage. Okay. Because of heated body. Oh, right, I forgot about the salamanders. And then... Oh, yes, yeah, so I got a roll recharge. The small one Pretty over much. here will start webbing Tyler up. Huh. And the large one will make one dart attack against... Ow. Um, <coughs> is that Mori? Yes. Uh, yep. 24? Uh, 24 versus AC? Yes. Uh, 24 will hit. Okay. 4. Oops. So what happened to Tyler? He's webbed up and grappled. Oh, lovely. And then have Lori make me a con save. She and takes five damage. Five damage, awesome. And a con save. Right. She gets a 23 for the con save. Okay, so she only takes... She takes one damage and she is fine. Okay. And Lori? Uh, Lori's turn? Yes. Lori is going to... Uh, let's see. Take a... Lori will take a five foot step. And attack the big one with her lightsaber. She's just okay. going alone at it. <clears throat> that would be a nat one. No. Okay. <laughs> Anything else for her? <coughs> no, that's about it. Okay. And Brayden? Okay, so since you're creature is still restrained, he takes no, a 10 physical. Ooh, and oh, yeah. Nine damage. And that will kill him. And you are free. Good. Now, I'm going to charge at this one and gore it. Oh goodies. You can charge at the small one, but not the large one. Large one. Why not? Why can't I charge at the large one? Because the small one is in the way. You can't move I have wings, it. remember. What'd you say? You've got to move in a straight line, Brad. Assuming the creature, the big one, is taller than the little one. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, that's right. You can fly above the little one. Oh, right, I forgot you could fly. Never mind, continue. My bad. I'm going to take a straight line hook. Well, I've managed to hit him. Crit, 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 crit. Oh, 41 to hit. Weakness. Yes, that hits. That'll be 59 damage to him. Ooh, that's painful. Yes. That's my turn. And your mount. Hi, buddy. My mount. Is going to morph into a red dragon wormling. And fly over there, and that'll be his turn. 
Awesome. Okay, and Chrissy? This is going to move up to near Raven. And we'll cast. No, what the hell, why not? She's going to cast, she's going to cast Flame Bolt. Flame Bolt? Yep, Flame Bolt. Fire Bolt? <coughs> 15 to hit, his touch. For the big one or the small one? Small one. The That does not hit the small one. Uh, that'll be Chrissy's turn. Okay. And Tyler, uh, please okay. make another con save for him. Yep. Let's see if Tyler's still being lazy. A 14? He's good. He's good? He, he does uh, start to move. Okay, can he actually act on his turn? No, that is his action for the turn. Okay. And getting but up. he's no longer paralyzed. Right. Getting up will provoke an opportunity and attack. <laughs> he's already grappled. Ah, yes, okay. Tied up. And Raven? Raven. Righties. Raven is going to... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Raven's going to charge her psionic strike. Onto her mind blade, and she's gonna go one, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five, six. Spend an action point to attack. Okay. All the fun things I couldn't do at low level. A 19 versus its uh, AC. Yes, that hits. That hits? That hits. Yes. Awesome. 54 plus 1 plus 1d6 plus 1d8. It takes 8 normal damage plus an extra. So that's 9. Rolling low. Ten damage all up. I guess you can't have all the luck forever. <laughs> oh, no. Anything else for Raven? Uh, no, that's oh, about that it. Your action point. Yep. For the creatures. Um, Brayden, make me a deck save, please. Or a reflex save. Same thing. Nineteen. Okay. Uh, the little one next to you tries to shoot a uh, web at you to like slow you down. It does not hit you. And the large one will. I'm just so sexy. Your mount is still in the air, right? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> the large one will barrel this way, provoking. One, two, three, four people's attacks of opportunity. Okay. Oh, goody. I have no idea in my hand at the moment, too, so. Is it afraid of us? No, is that... Um, no. Oh, wait. Only three attacks of opportunity. I had to take Tyler with him. Okay. <laughs> 27 uh, to hit. That does hit. 13 to hit with Raven. That does not hit. No. 33 damage from me. Okay. I'm guessing Lori gets an attack as well? Yes. Yes, she does. Awesome. Brayden, when you do hit it, you do hear, like, the snapping and cracking sound That's not when you hit one of its legs. I'm crippling the bastard. And then that one does not hit. No. No, it doesn't. It holds this creature. 
how tall is it? It's about nine, nine and a half feet tall. There we go. Is and that better range? Oops, not oh, both of you. And <coughs> it will use oh, its it's action to continue, and it will disappear into inside. Oh, With Tyler. Okay. Should we rescue him? I feel like we Get should. He that guild mate after all. Yes, that is true. And then... There we go. And that is it for combat as the other creature is trying to run away. Can I chase after it and kill it? Absolutely. Lori Yay. first. Uh, Lori's going to run after a monster. Unless someone wants to okay. talk her out of it. I suggest to her she waits for me to kill a fleeing creature, then we'll go rescue her master. I promise. Roll a diplomacy? Brayden, also <laughs> roll me a perception for your mount. Okay, roll my diplomacy first. Yep. You should have experienced my diplomacy, but I'm, I'm bloody diplomatic as shit. <laughs> <laughs> you can always roll a one. Oh, now. I could. But how about 20? How about 20? Yeah, they'll, they'll convince her. She's into stress, but she'll wait. She ain't stupid. My master! No! He'll be fine, maybe. I got a perception check from my mount, okay. Oh, your pet will save you. Sixteen. Okay. Uh, your mount does see the little one of the little like. It looks like a slug, like crawling across the ground, like crawling away. I mean, this thing here. Yes. Oh goodies. This is my turn. He's going to breathe on it. Have it make a dexterity save, please. A six. No. <laughs> so we have twenty-one damage. It takes five damage. That that does kill the little slug. That was the plan. As for the fleeing alien, I think not. Yes. Okay, I charge after it and gore it. On the ground now. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Anyway. That does hit. Well, I've managed, so yeah. It wasn't for a crit, but well. Uh, that would be 51 damage. And that does kill it. Good. <coughs> and now, combat is over. Okay. Let's put that away. I'm now what are you guys gonna do? Guessing with uh, Braden's mount because it has uh, will kill white wounds. Braden wants to heal us up. Oh gosh, yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna have to look. I'm not let you people keep getting injured. There's only um. Tyler and Lori. Uh, Tyler's. Yeah, well, I can't heal Tyler at the moment, I'm afraid. He's otherwise occupied. Um, yeah, only Lori. Shit. Oh, yeah, I forgot yeah. Tyler's gone. <laughs> <laughs> so peaceful now. <laughs> <laughs> no, my master! Where has he gone? He meets his pet! I think, he's, I think he's I think he's creature food. Love him, sorry. We'll try and rescue him, but I think he's creature food. That's a weird fetish. <laughs> That's how they refer to each other? It's getting weird. <coughs> oh, you so my mouth will go around now. and heal everyone who's taking damage up so they're nice and healthy again before we go after the creature. Okay. Okay. Well, Raven, so he's gonna get heal Lori up. Don't believe uh, Lori heals by six, and then she's at full HP. 
I don't believe Raven so has one attack one damage. Round. Raven's gonna keep her mind yeah, blade. Raven's gonna keep her mind blade in her short sword form, and have one hand for casting spells. Uh, so dual wielding her holy symbol and the mind blade. <coughs> okay. Uh. Okay, are we ready to advance? Let's get rid of these. I am going to put a vial of drought poison inside my flail. Oh, lovely. Okay, oops, let's get rid of mine. I love my One. adventure shopping. It was so eventful. <laughs> there we go. Now... And you got a bargain, too. Just need to find three more weapons, Neil. Just gotta pick what I want. Don't forget your um. Oh, lovely. Okay. And you guys are over here. Did that move you? Top left corner. Uh, I can see Laurie's token and Raven's token. That's about it. Yes. Um, there are 52 up on me. You can see everything, Brayden? Are you you and your mount can? All we see is black. Like the Sith soul. <laughs> the Sith is not much of a Sith. <laughs> I suppose he is. He's, he's, oh, we see everything now. How far do you see? Oh, goodies. Perfect. Okay. Are we down the corridor? Yes, so you entered, and the inside is a little deceptive after about 30 feet of going into that old, decrepit looking building. Yep. And it is actually like a fully functional, up to date. Construction. Like nice. a secret facility. Nice. Ugh. Mosquitoes. We'll put that over there. Hmm. And I updated your move, your vision. Okay. You guys can move. Mm-hmm. Uh -uh. And while you're in here, you will have disadvantage on perception and listen checks for anything other than the alarm. Oh, lovely. Does that so still still... Him. Does that include hmm? my attack rolls and stuff, as it runs mostly off wisdom? Off of what? My attack rolls run off wisdom. No, 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 it's just for hearing things. Ah, okay, gotcha. So, perception checks. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Yes. Just perceptions and hearing. Awesome. You guys may proceed. Okay. Either Brayden goes first or Laurie goes first. <laughs> the pet wants her master. Well, I'm having problems on my end at the moment. Okay. In two seconds. Yep. See if it looks any better on the phone. <sighs> if you're trying to get the map to work on the phone, it won't actually work. And all I've got is a black screen. You can't see anything at all? Nope. That's weird. That's wrong. I refresh my browser and everything. Okay, 
that's not good. Has sight. Can you see Ben? Yep. Did you want me to oh, send me screenshots? Yeah. Hold on, let me get rid of your okay. tokens and let's bring your ones from the last map. He's just refreshing the tokens. There we please. go. Oh, there we go. Now uh, you can see? Yep. Yep. Okay, there's probably something wrong with the tokens. <clears throat> awesome. I swear I had nothing cool. to do with it. It wasn't me. Okay, so Raven's staying at the back with Chrissy. I'm guessing Chrissy's staying at the back. And Laurie is yep. going to stay up the front with you. Probably in the middle. Uh, it looks like you're leading the charge. Aren't I always? Yep. I will move 30 feet at a time. I have my mouth will. In two seconds. I have a feeling we're heading into its nest. I have that feeling too. I think I might have to upgrade to upgrade to guiding bolt. My mount will change into a ghost. Okay, that works. Can we call it Casper? My mount will say you don't call it Casper. It doesn't like the name. What a killjoy! <laughs> and Casper, the friendly ghost. Mostly because I don't have a name yet. How are you not gonna name your mount? <coughs> a terrible, terrible owner. I'm working on it, okay? Uh huh. That's what they all say. I summoned, I summoned him and got caught off on an adventure, you know. So you know, I didn't really have much time to talk to him. Likely story. I'm still better than the sis who got eaten, nearly got eaten by a monster. Let's hope it stays at nearly. <laughs> My mouse and I are going to move down to here. Yep. <coughs> okay. Um, so while you guys are moving down the hallway, you guys do see scorch marks on the wall from blaster fire. Oh. Oh, and you see some trickles of blood on the ground, but not really a lot. Can we say Lori picked up a blaster? Actually, don't worry about sure. it. She uses, she uses melee. Go keep the character. No, no. Don't worry about the blaster. Um, okay. Sorry. Now, now I'm gonna move down to here. That's and she's gonna follow. I'm guessing Chrissy's staying behind. No, I just haven't got. I need control of her token. Ah. Oh, I didn't. I didn't give you control. Why not? No. Nope. I literally I copied these tokens. It happens. Flip. There we go. Yep. Okay. Oh, goody, blood. Lots of it. Nah, that's just that's just paint. I just painted it. Well, yeah. Paint the blood. Were they just painting the walls? Yeah, somebody's a very good painter. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> but, but they c can't hit for shit, but they can paint for really good. <laughs> they're they're uh, artists. They're not warriors. Uh, <laughs> like everything. <laughs> Drafted into the military. Well, that really looks interesting. Okay, and Chrissy's lagging behind again. Shh. 
What okay. is as you step through the blood, you are leaving uh, marks on the floor. It is pretty fresh. Oh, it's not paint. I mean paint. Yeah, they just painted this. <laughs> I'm um, going to walk up to here. That's my Matt and Chrissy. I'm sure everyone else is coming along. Yep. Is there anything you want to get left behind? Nope. Okay. We have a choice, people. That is interesting. Keep on the side the keep going straight. <clears throat> I say roll a d6. One, two is left. Three, four is straight ahead. Five, six is right. Let's go right. Right, where you got then? No. Okay. As well as your more quite unquote paint. As you are approaching downwards, you see a force field kind of blocking this entrance. No. Straight ahead it is. I guess so. Okay. I'll just put that there. And there's nothing in that room. Okay, we're going this way then. Over in this room, you see lots of crates marked with <clears throat> uh, rations and food supplies. Oh, goodies. I kneel to examine the what looks like half of a body on the floor. Yeah, it's about half a body. It could be just a really good, yeah, you know, Halloween prop, but I think it's a body. <laughs> yes, very lovely. Brayden, oh, as I... you look into what's up. Can I uh, have Raven make a heal check to determine how he died? Absolutely. Awesome. Keep you warm. I'm guessing it's creature. 16. So it looks like he was cut in half. Lovely. Yikes. It was a very clean cut, so it was a very sharp blade. And he bled out. Lovely. Very well, lovely. Not a lifesaver then. Brayden, <laughs> as you're walking past this room and everybody else that's uh, nearby, you can hear something moving and not really thrashing, but making noise in the water over here. You just see very large bars going across the room in all directions as a type of submerged cage. Ooh. I vote for leaving it while the hell alone. Yep. Everyone's on for that vote. No one wants to be checking that shit out. Bunch of babies. <laughs> We've learned from Ben's creatures. <laughs> what oh, are you on. talking about? There are, there, are face huggers, there are only face-hugging eyeballs which could actually just choke you <coughs> to death, it wasn't too bad. And spiders. No, you stupid creature. You what? That's interesting to know. Yes, that is also another uh, large cage with a massive snake inside. Well, we don't want to be fighting that one. Uh, you can, if you look a little bit more closely, you can kind of see that a lot of its scales are missing. 
and there's blood lining its cage. My mouth is going to have a look at it, since it's a snake. Look okay. Ow! Dude, he's going to have a chat about the snake language ask, who did this to it? The white ones. They will respond. Yeah. I promise to avenge its torture by killing the white ones. And come back to help it when I can. It will thank you for your assist, uh, future assistance. I don't want to let it out yet when it's still in danger. Oh, it's just silly. I guess that's fair. Ooh, maybe it can be an it ally. Don't make, make it wise. No meta gaming, Ben. It's all about picking the right ca it's all about picking the right cages for the right people. We're gonna move along and try and find the white ones and our friend while we're at it. Well, that's an interesting looking room. In this room you see cages that are hanging from the ceiling. They're about 30, 40 feet up. About 30 feet up. Hanging from the Sweet. ceiling in uh, there's a few bats in a couple of them. There's only five in there. The Ooh. other seven cages are empty. That's all in this. Lovely. Moving along. There is no blood in this room though. In that room. Definitely blood up ahead. And then this door seems to be locked with some poison or acid on it to try to melt it. I wanted to, to do it. Lovely. Should we Maybe check I'm what's inside? To... Move along it is. If you attach the acid that melts away the door, you feel free. Uh, probably not. <laughs> I'm not really on acid trips, I'm afraid. I'm guessing it's technology? Hmm? I'm guessing the locked door is technology? It's just a physical lock. It's um, kind of like a safe. Right, yeah, I might play that safe. Um, what's in this room? Oh, goodies. Yeah, say some thing to mess with. Um, I can't see exactly what's up there. I'm going to move up a bit. Out there. Okay. Should we leave behind? I think we'll have Laurie behind. Yeah, Laurie, Laurie is... is... Oh, there she is. Laurie can't move through the wall. There you go. Yeah, I have the the walls blocking. Ah, I've got to figure out how to do that. It seems more immersed. So, um, do we want to venture down the dark hole? I don't see why not. Venture down it, we do. How the hell do we, we have a choice? That's all right. I reckon teams wider. I think Tyler's no gonna... objections. Cool. No objections. Laurie's worried about her master. She wants to be the pet again. I'm trying to find him. <laughs> okay, where'd you go? Oh, goodies. More rooms. Okay. Um, this room over here seems to be an empty storeroom. Also another one that probably held rations or some kind of supplies. Mm -hmm. And this room that you're walking into, this door that you went through is broken. It was knocked down. Oh, lovely. I think we're getting closer. I tell Laurie her master should be nearby. 
We haven't seen him anywhere else, so this makes sense. She's gonna use the force to try to sense him. Might as well use that. She gets skill. a skill on the kill. Let's see. I will haunt her from the grave and kill her. Well. Uh, natural 20 or 26 to sense her master. So, you, she senses two force sensitives oh, down geez. further this, uh, this room. Master would have a distinct taste. Is one of them the distinct taste? Yes, it is your master. Okay, and the second one, does it feel more of a... Light side or dark side or neutral? Uh, neutral. Neutral, okay. Just a normal force user. Nice. Shall we venture down? Uh, yeah, let's see what I got. Awesome. But first... Keeping our sense, our friend. Yeah. Uh, Laurie's um, mm. giving the information as well, by the way. <coughs> My mount is going to transform. It's going to morph. Sounds fun. Into a barbed devil. Oh, lovely. And we all slowly move along. Chris is going to stay behind. Just be safe. <laughs> okay. Let me move you guys a little bit forward. Till I think at that point you can. Um, we can see that, right? Why can your mount see that? We can see a little that. bit closer and I'll be able to. That? So go about no. there. Not yet. There's something wrong with your mount's vision. I don't know why. Yep, yeah, we can see that, right? At, uh, you can now, yeah. Uh, 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 now you're starting to be able to see it. That's a big scene. That is terrifying. That's a big scene. I'm off. But before we start anything, we will pause there. That's a big scene. I'm off. There we go. You guys can see uh, a few cocoons <coughs> of webbed up people. You do you see vaguely the shape of uh, Tyler over there? Yeah, lovely. And some. Large eggs and large batches of tiny eggs. Alien versus predator. I suppose. <laughs> it's a little different though. <laughs> but we will pause there. Maybe the Tyranids. <laughs> oh no, not the Tyranids. Those are, those those are even worse that, news. Those are, those are nasties. <clears throat> well, can you roll initiative or... No, 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 no. We're gonna we're gonna pause there. We'll do this. Uh, we'll do this fight next week. Awesome. Cool, it works for me. That yeah. is uh, my finger. Awesome. All right. Take care. Have a good night, guys.